In today's video, I'm sharing with you some thrift trash to treasures for the patriotic holidays coming up. Here we go. Hello, you all. In today's video, I am participating in the Friday Friend Hop hosted by Heidi Sonbull. I'm gonna share with you some DIYs that I created. And then when you're done watching my video, I would love it if you'd go to the description box below where I will link the next creator. And all of our videos today link to someone else. So by the end of watching the hop, you'll have a ton of great crafting and DIY ideas. So let's get into the video. For this first project, I was sent this book by a subscriber and in the book I saw this star rimmed basket. I think this would be just adorable for picnics in the summer. So I decided to make it out of this bushel basket that I found at the Goodwill for a dollar. I pulled this from my stash, I've had it a while, and I always knew I wanted to upcycle it. I'm also using these stars, which were also sent to me by a subscriber. So I had those in my stash, but I think you can get them at Michael's or Walmart. And then I also pulled some paints from my stash. This is red chalk paint from Walmart. This is a brighter blue than I was looking for, so I decided to mix it with some burnt umber to tone it down a little bit. And then I also used some white chalk paint. My white chalk paint is really thick and I need to get some more, but that's okay because I only needed to use a dry brush technique here and I was going to be adding water to it anyway. So the thickness of the paint was not a big deal. To apply the paint to the basket, I used this old bristle brush that I had. I think I got it at the Dollar Tree and I did water down the paint significantly. Then I took my brush with just a little bit of paint loaded onto it and I very quickly brushed the bushel basket in an up and down motion just to leave some of the paint on the bushel basket so that it would get this whitewashed effect. And I did the same thing to the handle as well as to the inside because although you could use this basket for florals, I wanted to have the opportunity to use it as a basket on a picnic table. And so I wanted the inside of the basket to look nice as well. Then once I was done treating the basket with the white paint, I went ahead and painted all of my stars. You can see here I did mix the blue with just a drop of burnt umber, and that's a trick to use. If you need a darker color, burnt umber is great for that purpose. And so using a bit of paint watered down again, because I kind of wanted to see the wood grain through it, I painted a bunch of stars blue and a bunch of stars red. I did use three different size stars for this project, so a small, a medium, and a large. And the red ones were all the large ones, and when they were done being painted, I glued the small blue stars to the centers of the red ones to kind of copy what I saw in the book. And then I left some of the medium blue stars alone, and then I just attached them to the bushel basket using my hot glue gun. And that's all there was to this first project, a nice easy project and a great piece of decor or a practical item to use for the summertime for all the patriotic holidays. For this next trash to treasure, I decided to upcycle this wooden charger that I got at a thrift store for 49 cents. I painted it with two coats of white chalk paint and then I used my sanding block to give it a little bit of a rougher finish. Then I printed this saying off of my computer. It says land that I love. And I used a pencil to turn it into tracing paper, essentially. So you kind of color all over the back of it and then you can flip it over and trace your design onto the object that you want to paint it on. I do not yet have a vinyl cutting machine. So this is one technique that I use to put words onto objects. And then once it was traced, I went ahead and got my black acrylic Arteza paint marker and I used that to trace the words. I think they turned out really well. I mean, obviously it is, it's not as nice and neat as a vinyl transfer would be, but that is fine for my purposes here. Once I had the words on the center, I glued some more of the stars that I had created all around the edges. Now I started with the one in the top middle and the one in the bottom middle so that I could make sure the spacing was even around the entire plate. And that was it for this second trash to treasure, another super simple piece of decor for the patriotic holidays. And here I just wanted to show you how you can use them. So I envision using this basket on picnic tables with silverware wrapped in 
pretty napkins just like I have here. I think that's a great way to just make your picnic feel a little bit more special. And you can use the plate just like this as a piece of decor in a plate stand or leaned up against a wall. Or you can also use it like this. And that's actually why I designed the words the way that I did. I wanted to be able to put a candle hurricane in the middle with a candle. And it's just another lovely piece of decor for your summertime table. And that's all that I have for you today. Now that you've watched my video, I would love it if you'd hop on over to the next friend who has DIYs prepared for you today. I have the link in my description box. Thank you so much to Heidi Sanbol DIY for sponsoring this Friend Hop Friday. And until my next video, thanks for watching.